Hey bros and motherfuckers, what the going down? Still back here today on Art Survival Evolved. I wanted to show you guys something that I've been asked quite a bit lately um, to show you guys, and that's how to spawn in the thorny dragon. Yes, I'm finally doing it for you guys. I don't know why everyone's asking me all of a sudden. Um, it's kind of weird because Scorched Earth's been out for like, let's see, like a year and a half now, I think. Yeah, so maybe almost two years. Um, anyway, dude, so I'm going to show you guys how to spawn that in. I'm sitting here. I am the gatekeeper here at the Swamp Stronghold in the server, Age of Wyverns. This is a cluster. If you guys want to join, check it out. Search for Age of Wyverns in the, uh, this guy says a tech trike is chasing a para. Okay, what? Uh, okay, that's weird. Anyway, dudes, if you guys want to join, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list here on, uh, Xbox One. I need to stop reading chat, I'm getting confused. Anyway, so um, we have a PvE Ragnarok server as well as a PvP Aberration server that you can transfer to anytime. So anything you do here in the PvE server, you can go over to PvP with. Uh, I think that's kind of a unique take. There's a lot more to the server than meets the eye, though. Uh, we have two community strongholds available to anybody for use. We've got forges. I mean, we've got all the tech stuff you could use. As long as you bring the gas or element, you can use it. If you guys want to know more about the server, though, I'm not going to get in depth on it right now. But feel free to join and head to the Castle of the Swamp here. Come up to the second floor and check out the library, and you can read everything you need to know. Uh, we did make use of the new Desert City. And uh, so I guess it's appropriate to spawn in a, uh, let's see, a thorny lizard or a thorny dragon at the Desert Stronghold. So. Let's teleport to the Desert Stronghold since it's so cool, and I'll show you guys there. I am the gatekeeper here, so if anybody needs teleportation between either of the Guardian Strongholds, I'm always by the teleporter when I'm on, unless I'm doing something, which is rare, but um, anyway, dudes, if you guys haven't seen the new Desert City here on Ragnarok, you guys need to check it out, because it is fascinatingly amazing and beautiful. Um, like I said, it's another stronghold, so you can come here to make use of anything like the industrial forges, grinders, we've got a replicator over there. We'll be adding more. We've got two greenhouses right there. Um, and there's more on the way. We've got a small courtroom slash theater thing right here. Anyway, dude, so let's get to it. I'm going to show you guys the command for this thorn and dragon real quick. It is going to be super easy. There's actually going to be three commands I want to show you guys. I know sometimes I say I'm going to show you guys three commands, and I only show you one because I get so caught up in it and I forget the other ones. But I'm going to show you guys all three right now. Uh, okay, so the first one is going to be a custom level tamed. Now, I like this one. I usually use this one. Um, so it's going to be cheat space GM summon space quotation spiny. Make sure you spell that right. Spiny. It's S P I N E Y lizard underscore character underscore BP underscore C quotation space 1000 now it doesn't have to be 1000 you can put uh, 500 or 10,000 or you know 100,000 uh, whatever you want this is gonna be the level that it spawns in as with a 50% tame bonus so keep in mind it's um, I, although I type level 1000 it's gonna give me a 50% tame bonus which is plus an extra 500 levels meaning it's gonna give me a level 1500 now I'll spawn that in for you guys, show you that it works. Bada bing, bada boom, 1500 tamed. Now this is not force tamed, but it does spawn in following you. So if you don't want to following, make sure you uh, whistle stop. Now this bad boy, like I said, has been around for a while, but man, it is still looking just as cool as always, honestly. So I'll show you guys the command to um, spawn in the saddle. If you don't want to spawn in the saddle, I'll also show you guys the command to force tame it if you don't know it already. So the saddle, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that I know the command. So it's going to be chi space GFI space, let's try this, uh, thorny, let's try a couple different ones, I'm really not sure, so let's try thorny, see if it works, nope, thorny didn't work, let's try thorny dragon, nope, that didn't work, let's try spiny, maybe it's spiny lizard, Spiny Lizard, yep. So it's uh, the saddle for the Thorny Dragon is Cheat space GFI space Spiny Lizard 
space one, space zero, space zero. All right, so I've got the I've got the uh, saddle right here in my inventory. I'm going to throw it onto the dragon. Bada bingo, bada boom. There we go. I like the saddle for these because they're real high up and like real desert looking with the wood and stuff. I think there is a skin for this that's like a whole like canopy, I think, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so uh, so now I can ride it, and it's pretty funky. It does have a basic uh, claw attack, and it also shoots some little things here, some little spines out of its tail or something. Now, uh, see if it does anything else. No, I guess that's all it does, so... If you guys have any other uses for the spiny lizard, let me know, because I am unaware of them. I didn't really play Scorched Earth very much, so this is really my first time. This might be my very first time riding a spiny lizard, dudes. Honestly, I can't. I don't feel like I've ever ridden one before. Um, okay, so if you guys don't feel like spawning in a saddle and you want to ride this guy bareback, which is probably going to hurt pretty bad, considering it doesn't look very comfortable at all, I'm going to take the saddle off. You can see it says that I need a saddle to ride. I'm going to show you guys how to force tame it. It's going to be cheat space force tame. That way I can ride it without needing a saddle. Now it does kind of sit a little ways off of it because you're supposed to have a saddle on it. So it thinks you have a saddle on it. But yeah, anyway, so you don't want to spawn in the saddle. That's the command to ride it bareback. Now the other command for a random level force tamed if you don't care to have a custom level, it's going to be cheat space, oh, let me spell that right, cheat space summon tamed space spiny lizard underscore character underscore bp underscore c. And we've got a random level force tamed. So you can still put a saddle on it if you want, but you don't have to. You can hop right on it and go. You don't have to force tame this one. It already comes force tamed. But like I said, it's random level. So with this command, you don't usually get a very high level. Like you can see here, it's level 40. Um, it's not usually above like 70 or 80. Um, sometimes it's as low as like seven, 12, stuff like that. So the next command I wanna show you guys is how to spawn in a wild thorny dragon. So it's going to be the same exact command that we just typed in, but we're gonna go back to summon tamed and we're gonna erase tamed off of the end of it. So it's cheat space summon space spiny lizard underscore character underscore BP underscore C. And we've got a wild one. Now it's probably gonna attack me because of course they are slightly aggressive. So I'm gonna hop on my big guy here and mess him up. <laughs> now these guys do give hide, keratin, and raw meat. So that's cool. Man, these things look really strong. Like. What did this evolve into? An armadillo or something? Alright, so I don't want this puny one, so I'm going to do cheat, space, destroy my target. Now, uh, I want to show you guys that skin. I'm trying to think if I can think of what it is. There's a skin for this saddle that makes it, um, oh, where did I put that saddle anyway? Oh, I guess I threw it away, huh? Yeah, I guess I threw a saddle somewhere. Did I throw it somewhere? Yeah, I guess I threw it away. Anyway, there's a, there's a cool skin for the thorny dragon. It's like a... Uh, what is it? It's like a canopy type thing. It looks makes you look really cool. Anyway, dudes. I guess I showed you everything you need to know about the thorny dragon. I'm gonna go ride this guy into the water and then drown him, I guess. I wonder if he floats. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep you down there, little buddy. Oh, he goes straight up. Well, if nothing else, you can use him as a portable raft, I guess. <laughs> See if I can. I can even stand on top of the guy, can I? Oh, that sucks. Looks like something you could stand on top of. Looks like a really big beaver. Just look at that. The shadow looks like a beaver. Anyway, dude, so that is it. If you guys want to check out, I'm going to destroy him too. If you guys want to check out any more admin commands, whether it be old dinos, new dinos, items, artifacts, trophies, um, whatever you can think of, I've either made a video about it or will make a video about it in the future. 
Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, feel free to comment. Um, show me what, tell me what you guys, if you guys like this new desert city. I'm loving it. There's quite a bit to it. There's like two huge bridges. Um, it's really cool to use as another stronghold for the community here on Age of Wyvern. So again, if you guys want to join, uh, just search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list and you will find me. Add me um, at either Age of Wyverns, that's my second Xbox, or my main account is Stonely Loner Kid on Xbox. So anyway, dudes, hopefully you got something out of this video and uh, stay tuned for more. Check out my channel, see if it's for you, sub if it is. And I will catch you guys on the flip of the flop.